from the Book of Saw comes to us from director Darren Lynn Bowsman, who has previously helmed three other films in this horror franchise, and it tells the story of a criminal mastermind unleashing a twisted form of justice in Spiral, the newest chapter in this incredibly popular horror franchise. Now, I just watched the original Saw last night, and it is most likely deemed by a lot of people as a horror masterpiece. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a horror masterpiece, but I could easily see the great, great work done by James Wan and Lee Winnell in the original. And I was very looking forward to this film. And honestly, I might like it a little bit better than the original Saw. The easiest standout for me in this new film is Chris Rock. I was very interested to see how he would do in the film. Apparently, he went to this studio and was like, I want to make a Saw movie. This is kind of his passion project. And I was very interested to see how he would take on the role in this detective thriller horror mystery movie. And he's pretty damn good. He's really funny and easily gives some of the best lines in the movie, as well as his fa on-screen father, Samuel L. Jackson, who is a delight yet again. He is such a charismatic actor, one of the best actors of all time, hands down. And it, it was it was a blast seeing him in this film. The opening is for this franchise not that not that bad, but it's a pretty jarring opening. The traps are very new. It feels very new and elaborate. Yes, I haven't seen any of the other Saw films except for the original Saw. So I couldn't, I can't really touch on the other saw traps, but to me, these traps felt new and elaborate, and I really enjoyed how they incorporated the saw lore with this, with this like new kind of detective thriller. It was, it, it, that's also kind of where the film faults. It has a hard time juggling how to be a saw movie and how to be a detective thriller. I feel like it's. It, it's, a, it's a good entry in the franchise. And again, it might be my favorite in the franchise. Arguably, arguably it might be my favorite in the franchise. But I don't know if this necessarily was the best Saw movie. I feel like it worked better as a detective mystery thriller. It has a lot of signature elements like, say, Seven. Uh, it, you could very not it's not distinct it's it's a very similar film in that sense it really has a, it gets a lot of its inspiration from seven it's definitely better than say the little things which came out e earlier this year it's definitely better than that film but this one is not it it's it's just kind of has a hard time juggling both this oh we have to be a new saw entry and we have to be this detective thriller I feel like if it worked on just one of those sides, it would have worked just a little bit better, and it would have been better in the outcome of the film. I yet again did not like the editing in the original film. That's what really dragged this, the original film down for me was the 2000s editing. It really pissed me off, and it kind of just got on my nerves. This one has a bit of the little touch of the early 2000s, and if you are a fan of that signature saw kind of editing, then you'll most likely, it'll put a smile on your face. I just didn't love the editing in this film. The ending and twist is kind of very, you can see it, if you pay close attention, you can pretty easily spot it. It's not, I wish it was a little bit more like a wow kind of moment. Instead of it being like a oh wow kind of moment, it was just kind of like a, Oh, I could, I could, okay, all right, that's fine. It's, I really wish it kind of blew me away, but you, I really enjoyed the ending. The ending ended on a somewhat cliffhanger. The the previous film ended the it's very in a very similar way, so I I enjoyed the ending. I just wish the little twist was a little bit better. My one other tiny nitpick is with the director. In the final third act, there's a lot of exposition. It's very exposition heavy. I didn't. I really wish the director didn't hold our hand and kind of tell us. It, he 
the movie tells us di directly these little key pieces that we should have been paying attention to. And if you were paying attention to, it's kind of just like a recap. You don't need that. If, if you are a close viewer and you pay attention to those little things, it would have worked better in the film's long run if it didn't necessarily hold your hand and you just had to pay close attention to these little details here, here and there. It was just like, why, why are we recapping? Every, if, you, if you were paying attention, it would have been a better twist, just a little bit better, but instead the director and the, edit, and the editing just tries to decide and go tell you exactly what you need to know. And I don't, I just really, it pick, ticks me off when, it, when the filmmaker thinks that it's a smart idea to tell you exactly what you might have missed. In the end, I really enjoyed Spiral. Again, might be my favorite in the franchise. I think as time will as time goes on, it will be a tough toss up. But this is a pretty good net new entry in the franchise, and I think the original fans of the Soft franchise will have a good time with it. If you're just looking for a return to the franchise and the little Saw vibes here and there, again, not the most original Saw movie. It could have worked a little bit better. But if you're looking for a detective thriller, this one might caught, catch you off guard. I'm going to give Spiral a C+. I, again, really enjoyed this movie, and I hope you guys do enjoy it whenever you get the chance to check it out. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to my review of Those Who Wish Me Dead coming tomorrow. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Ben. People call me Meter. And I'll see you guys in the next one.